From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, starting to feel a little bit better out there. Still a little moist and uncomfortable. Lafayette southeastward, better off to the north and west, where we expect temperatures tonight to get into the low to mid 60s. More on that in just a bit. First off, let's take a look at what's going on. And as we move ahead, it looks like nothing but sunshine and dry air. And oh, by the way, We've had just a very little rain during the course of this weekend in some spots in Acadiana. Some other spots got a pretty good soaking, but all in all, Lafayette Airport, a third of an inch of rain in September, which is uh, the second dry September on record. And we have started off October pretty much on a dry note, with the exception of the storms that we saw uh, Sunday into Monday. But uh, by and large, still a quiet pattern, but we are picking up still on some showers across portions of uh, uh, Eastern St. Mary, Lower St. Martin Parish, or uh, just north and east of the Morgan City area. These showers uh, will uh, last for another hour or two more at the very least and then die down, we think, after midnight tonight. The rest of us high and dry. That's where the front is. In fact, look at the temperatures this morning. Upper 60s in Lafayette, lower 60s off to the north and west, then upper 80s for most of us this afternoon, and now most in the 70s. Meanwhile, conditions offshore, light and low. That's because we essentially have a frontal boundary that is really not moved as we look at the dew points that's the measure of uh, moisture in the air so the dew points in Lafayette upper 60s to near 70 but feeling much better as you go up toward Alexandria Fort Polk in the 50s and then you get back into Texas plenty of 50s even uh, saw a few 40s earlier this afternoon so where do we sit with that dew point yesterday we were near the disgusting category yesterday morning it was in the upper 70s so it was oppressive yesterday for the most part now it's still uncomfortable we want our work our way to pleasant, perhaps invigorating, and I think we got some invigorating air coming up next week in the 10 day forecast front on the way for Monday. As we go open it on up, show you what's happening in the tropics. Not a whole lot going on. Some tropical moisture heading for uh, the Bahamas and Florida in the near term. Meanwhile, we have Hurricane Ophelia out here and it is strengthening. It's been a strange year. This one won't affect the Western Hemisphere, but it's remarkable because it is the 10th hurricane of the season. Not only that, but it is also the 10th hurricane in a row to be upgraded from a tropical storm, which is a record going back to Franklin, then to Gert, then to Harvey and uh, Irma. And I'm not going to go through the whole alphabet, but you got the idea. And this one's still going to be a pretty potent storm when it gets close to Ireland and Scotland as we go into early next week. So Europe will have to deal with that. For us, we're dealing with just fair skies overnight tonight, maybe a few patches of fog especially towards St. Mary Parish where the dew points are higher. And then as we head into the day tomorrow, should be a nice day. Lunchtime temperature in the low to mid 80s, upper 80s tomorrow afternoon for drive time and staying dry for the most part and staying high and dry as we head into Friday as well. Mostly sunny skies will continue. Uh, we'll start to see a little bit in the way of moisture, tropical moisture starting to get into the area as we head into Saturday, but a dry day Saturday. But you see this moisture here. I got to factor that into the forecast for Sunday, so maybe a few afternoon showers for festivals Acadien and uh, whatever else you have planned for this weekend for Sunday afternoon. Temperatures tonight lower 60s northern parishes of Acadiana. So if you want to enjoy some nice weather, just go for a drive 30 45 minutes to the north from I 10. I 10 quarter is still not doing too bad. Mid 60s, the mildest will be uh, mid to upper 60s in Lafayette and mid to upper 60s to near 70 in the yellow. And you can see where it's going to be warmest, where that frontal boundary is for tomorrow morning lower 70s. Then after that morning start temperatures in the upper 80s for tomorrow afternoon tomorrow night back down into the upper 60s. So still not too bad, but we could improve on that in October for sure. Lower 90s for Friday afternoon. It's going to be a hot one as we start the weekend. So nice evening ahead overall. Pleasant temperatures for the most part. 67 your low 90 the high tomorrow. The normal should be 83. So still well above what we normally expect this time of year. Big game tomorrow night. Get out Watch the game. Tailgating is going to be warm but dry. Pretty sunset. That's the bonus for going out to the football game. You get a nice sunset in the first quarter. Maybe some might need a light jacket or sweater, but not likely. Temperatures in the mid 70s. Kind of like what it is out there right now. Maybe minus a uh, degree or two. As we head into the weekend, hot weekend on tap. Slight rain chance for a Sunday afternoon at 30%, 20% Monday. And notice the temperatures Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Lower 80s for highs and overnight lows ducking down 
into the mid to upper 50s, maybe for a three night only appearance for right now, but okay. it's a start. You're getting better at this, Rob. <laughs> we, we, we're getting, we'll by November, we're going to have it straightened out. There or you December. go. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Still ahead tonight on KETC. The